If you've ever wanted to charge into battle with the superior sword and shield, then look no further as the engineering nightmare that is the charge blade has had no better time to try it than in Sunbreak. In my opinion, base Monster Hunter Rise's charge blade only had two real drawbacks. Main one was being locked into a singular playstyle. It felt boring in my opinion, and that the pizza cutter mode left you fairly defenseless. But I'm happy to say the charge blade got three incredible silk binds in Sunbreak that fixes both of these issues. With the release of Sunbreak, the Charge Blade got the addition of Ready Stance, an amazing defensive and offensive tool that promotes a healthier way of using the Axe mode without sacrificing our shielding capabilities, as well as heavily bolstering the damage output of an Ultra Element Discharge free playstyle that I personally really enjoy. This Silk Bind also acts as a guard point, so you can use it to block most monster attacks, auras, roars, and beams in the game with a greater efficiency. Ready Stance also, as mentioned earlier, bolsters the damage by allowing our Axe Mode's Stage 2 Element Discharge to essentially be spammed by using Ready Stance in Axe Mode and pressing Circle without moving to immediately go to Stage 2, pumping out a crazy high amount of damage very quickly. With little to no positioning requirements, the Silk Bind also is very cheap to use with a one wire bug cost requirement. While on the subject of Axe Mode, the Charge Blade in Sunbreak also got an Another one wire bug cost silk bind called Air Dash, which essentially makes you step forward and launch yourself spiraling upwards using your axe to carve through the air and finishing with either a powerful vial discharge that inflicts high stun and blasting you in the opposite direction or a descending slash with the axe or swapping back to sword and shield mode. Better yet, during the launching state of the silk bind, you have hyper armor so it can be used to go through roars and attacks. Air Dash also synergizes really well with the enhanced axe mode that most people call the pizza cutter mode. Hitting multiple times on the way up, racking up some very solid damage. It also synergizes really well with the final silk bind the charge blade got with the release of Sunbreak. Firing Pin is an alteration of your amped sword mode attacks that instead of bursting a vial for a bit of extra damage and stun on each swing, instead proceeds to create a small expanding firing pin that stacks up to six times with each swing. You can also have multiple firing pins up on the monster at the same time. To set them off, you simply hit them with an axe mode attack which includes the previously mentioned air dash. Setting off these firing pins does quite a decent amount of extra damage and extends the duration on your current amped shield, allowing you to spend an entire hunt without having to use vials to recharge your shield, making this an incredible way to maintain your shield charge while waiting for those openings to land your meaty hits. And that was why you should definitely use the charge blade in Monster Hunter Sunbreak. And I hope to see you on the next one.